Let's continue to build on our setup for the leg. So now we have this stretchy ankle thing going on. And let's try to fix things so that the ankle just doesn't stretch at first. Let's just keep the foot stuck where it is on the calf. And now the easiest thing we could do for, to help that happen is have a copy location constraint on the foot base so that it stays stuck to the tip of the calf. And so we need to add a bone there to do the copy location constraint. We go to edit mode with the calf selected. We'll deselect, we'll shift right click on the root of the calf and then we'll extrude the ball that's on the bottom of the calf down to create a new bone. That's a child of the calf. And we'll put it like so. And now we have a new bone. We can right click on it to select it, shift right click on foot base, and do control alt C to add a constraint. We'll pick copy location, and we're done. It's going to stick there. Let's just name this bone so we don't forget, and I'll call it mm, ankle rot.l or calf rot.l. And I'll do that because it's named the same thing in man candy and it'll be easy for you to find it there. Now if I select the foot and move it, you'll notice that it doesn't pull the foot out of the way. And so we don't have a stretchy ankle problem. And the same thing happens when you move the body and you'll notice that the foot stays rotated nicely as you're moving the torso or the foot itself around. So that's still working as we wanted to. So we'll clear the location. Let's see what else we can do. So if you look closer here, we had to add that pivot so the character can stand on the ball of his foot. And so that pivot is going to happen somewhere right there in that middle. And so what we'll do is add another bone. We'll go into edit mode snap the cursor to where we want that pivot to happen add a bone snap the cursor to the ankle and snap the tip of that bone shift s selection to cursor and now we'll do a simple act of parenting to this bone first we'll rename it so it's called ankle angle.l as we remember from our man candy rig and then we'll parent it to the foot Shift select, control P, keep offset. Now if you rotate that bone, and you'll see that it's pivoting at the right point, all we have to do is to get the ankle IK target to move with that tip by parenting. Once again, simple act of parenting, select the ankle goal, shift select our new ankle angle, and hit control P and it doesn't really matter whether you use keep offset or connected here since it's right there it's not going to move and then tab and now we'll select this bone and rotate it and you'll see that the ankle is pivoting around that point now we have to really control the leg rotation and positioning so that it all works like it does in man candy and we'll do that in the next step and get the foot into a more usable shape by being able to add a constraint to keep the middle of the foot stuck to that pivot over there. And we'll do that by adding a bone and then constraining some more bones to it. So we'll constrain the midfoot to it and we'll constrain the toes to it as well. So we'll duplicate the toe bone to add that bone. We'll select that, right click it, foot mid, and then duplicate it. And let's rename that right away so we don't lose track. And we'll call it footangle.l. And just to see things better, we'll switch the armature into B-bone visualization mode, which doesn't change anything, but lets us use Alt-S to scale the shape of the bone up so we can distinguish the two bones apart without altering their functionality in any way. And we'll make the new bone a child of the heel. 
So we'll parent it to foot.l. And now we'll add a constraint to lock the ankle angle bone to point at that bone. We'll do that by selecting the toe bone and creating an IK constraint. So we'll select, actually we'll select the target, which is foot angle.l. Then we'll select foot mid.l with a shift key pressed, and then we'll do control I. Now things look like they went a bit haywire, but we just have to do a couple of things, uncheck use tip, and change the tame chain length to one. And now things are working again. And you'll notice if you rotate the angle, ankle angle bone, that the foot rotates with it, which is what we want. Now we just have to make the toes stay with that bone. So we select it, select the, this bone, control alt c copy rotation. And now we're done. So now we have a setup that's really close to the Man Candy 1.0 leg setup, which has rotations working everywhere and no stretching. To make a life easier, we'll add some shapes to these bones using these mesh objects that I made earlier. And we can simply copy their names by hovering the mouse over their object field and hitting Control C, selecting the bone, and Control Ving it on the object field for the bone, hovering the mouse once again. And we'll do that here too, Control V, without clicking. And finally, we'll do the same thing for the heel, Control C, and select the heel bone, and do Control V. And we have nice shapes for these bones. Now we can put them on a layer that's going to be visible to an animator with the M key and selecting that layer and clicking OK. And finally, we just turn on that layer. I'll hide this scene layer here so we don't see those objects anymore. And we have a working setup for the leg. And this is not a stretchy leg setup yet, obviously, but it's a working setup if you wanted to do a normal human character your work would be done now. Let's just lock down the location of these bones and leave them rotating only on X, since that's the only axis they're supposed to rotate in. Likewise, we'll do the same for foot angle. And this will just make things easier for the animator so they won't be able to do the wrong thing by accident. But they can still rotate on the x-axis for that bone. And now we have a complete non-stretchy setup. And now let's see how we can add more stuff on top of that to create a bendy-legged man candy.